we obviously um, were interested in the whale's behavior. But what we found is that these sucker fish seem to uh, photobomb our video material uh, quite frequently and they were hanging out at the same spot. Um, and, and so over time, um, of course, we raised that question, maybe, you know, there is certain places um, on the whale that are more beneficial for those remoras to spend their time because there's less resistance and they know how to utilize the whale's body in, in, a, in the best way possible. Whenever the whale was breaching and, and doing in particular fast movements, it appears that the suckerfish were responding very quickly to the movements and they knew exactly when to let go of the body of the whale before it was breaching the surface of the water. And then they're like an upside down fish. It's a very bizarre um, appearance. And if they are living on the whale, they're actually getting their meals from the whales delivered. So they can feed on the crustaceans, little sea lice that grow on the on the whale skin. But as it appears, they can also eat the whale skin. So they have their entire meal and they all have their mates with them as well. So they are mating and, and reproducing on the whale's body. So it's like the perfect vehicle for them. So I suspect that the majority would probably leave at some point, maybe in temperate waters, but then where do they go? Um, you know, do they find other species that they can then um, use as a host and wait until the humpback wilds come back? <laughs> we don't know.